Here are three tips to help out your go-kart racing. So the first tip we're gonna be looking at is our posture in the car. We wanna have a slight bend in our arms. We wanna keep our back relatively straight. If you notice that you're crouched over, it's gonna change the balance of the car. And if you're leaning too far back, that's gonna to put too much weight on the rear of the chassis. So just think, get yourself in the cart, push yourself in the seat ever so slightly, so you've got the arms just slightly bent. So some of the typical examples of a bad posture might be when you're leaning over, now if you've got a massive bend in your arm, there's a lot more chance of turning the wheel a lot more times around the corner. If you're leaning too far back and your arms are locked in, if you have an oversteering moment, there's not a lot to control because you've already, arms already locked in. That slight bend allows you to balance out that steering wheel. Okay, so the second tip we're gonna be looking at on our go-karting tips is where to hold our hands on the steering wheel. Obviously we've got basically like a full clock, 12 o'clock all the way around. So there's different places that you can actually hold your hands. I would recommend a nine and a three hand position. This is gonna give you the most control. Now especially if you're experiencing understeer or oversteer where you're catching the cart, this gives you the best opportunity to be able to balance out your steering and control the cart. We see some bad habits where kids are actually holding their hands in two different positions. The problem is when you've got your hands off center, you're gonna actually pull on the steering wheel with too much aggression on that dominant hand. And then when you change the opposite side, again, pulling too dominant on that left hand side. Now, it might work well to turn into a corner. When your cart experiences some slight, it's gonna be very hard to balance out that steering when they're off center. So also, when you're holding your hands too high on the steering wheel, you've got a lot less opportunity to turn the steering. It might make your steering input smoother, but if you actually do need to turn the steering wheel and create more lock, it's gonna be very, very hard. As we can see, my arm's already straight. I can't really turn the steering wheel anymore. So if we hold our hands too low, very similar to up top, we've only got a limited chance of turning the steering wheel. So that full lock position, but I would say nine and three is the best. If you're not quite comfortable there, lowering it first, because that way you can push yourself more in the, in the seat, and that can still have nice control of the car. So our third tip is about smooth steering inputs. We've heard it so many times before, smooth is fast. How do we become a smooth driver? Now, when we're looking at our steering wheel, we want to have nice slow movements in that steering wheel. If we turn the steering wheel too much, too quickly, we're gonna be correcting the go-kart. And if our onlookers, our parents, are watching our son or daughter on the track, if we start to see all this correction around the corner, that's gonna change the balance of the car. Now obviously if the balance is not there, the grip's not there, and our speed isn't there either. When we're turning a corner, you wanna do most of the steering with your inside hand. So if we're turning a right-hand corner, we wanna do most of the turning with this right hand, and the left hand is more of a guide. And I like to use a bit of a, a pull and a push method. So as you're pulling down on one, you're pushing into the steering wheel. I'm actually pushing some force into that outside arm. When I hold that force and a nice steering input, that actually has the most amount of control around the corner. So inside arms, got a nice V bend. Outside arm is relatively straight. We might find a more aggressive steering input is in the wet weather conditions. So in the wet, there's a lot less grip on the track. So if you do turn nice and gently and smooth, you don't have that grip and that traction to get around the corner. So in the wet, I like to actually turn the wheel full lock because as we know, we're gonna have a lot more understeer. So we're pulling down that steering wheel to create more steering when that grip comes into the car. So the steering acts as like a brake for the go-kart. The more we turn the steering wheel, the more it's starting to slow down. So as I said before, if you start to turn the wheel too much or too consistently around the corners, that is hundreds of a second that you're losing per corner. So in the high grip conditions, you might find that it gets a little bit heavy in the steering. So more steering lock is actually required. You still don't want to start from nothing to like that. You want to gradually bring that steering lock in. And as you gradually bring that steering lock in, the rear of the cart will slowly start to lift and corner with nice amount of grip. So that's three tips centered around your posture, your steering inputs, and being nice and smooth in the cart. These three tips should get you further up the grid.